The first U.S. lunar lander in more than 50 years rocketed toward the moon Monday, launching private companies on a space race to make deliveries for NASA and other customers. Astrobotic Technologies lander caught a ride on a brand new rocket, United Launch Alliance's Vulcan. The Vulcan streaked through the Florida pre-dawn sky, putting the spacecraft on a roundabout route to the moon that should culminate with an attempted landing on February 23. The Pittsburgh company aims to be the first private business to successfully land on the moon, something only four countries have accomplished. Everything looking good. And we've got pitching yacht programs in, coming into normal rates for that event. Two good engines, two good SRBs. Body rates look good, nice and smooth. And we've hit our first throttle point on the BE-4s, everything looking good. And we have passed through Mach 1, we are now supersonic, coming up on max Q. That max dynamic pressure, everything looking good, we're rolling off on the SRBs. And we have cutoff on the SRBs, coming up on jettison in approximately 30 seconds. Seeing expected PU activity on the boost remains. And we have separation of both SRBs.